So today we are going to look at how to install MAMP on Windows 10. MAMP stands for Mac, Apache, MySQL and PHP. We need MAMP in order to program PHP on our computers. Alternatives to MAMP are WAMP, XAMP, and many other options. We shall go to www.mamp.info and we can click free download here. You see, what happens with the MAMP website is that once you go to it, it detects the operating system you are using currently. And it has detected that this operating system is Windows. So they are telling us about uh, the MAMP Pro for Windows. But we are looking for the free version. We can click free download here or we can click downloads. And once we click downloads, the, the version for the operating system we are using to visit the website gets recommended to us. And the other versions are below here. So if you have a Mac computer, you can go for this version. If you have Mac powered with the Intel processor and go for this version, if you have Mac powered by the M series processor. And there's MAMP viewer for iOS and Android. There's also MAMP Pro version, which is uh, not free, but to download both the free and pro, you'd click here. So MAMP will start to download. It's only 683 megabytes. So I'm going to open my downloads directory. I'll stop this one by clicking there. And then I'll click here to open the downloads folder. The MAMP installer is here. It makes it very easy and quick to install. So I'll double click it. And the user account control will be presented to me. Windows is asking me whether I want to continue with this one or not. So I want to continue with this. I trust it. I click yes. And the moment I do that, the installation wizard is opened to walk me through the installation process. So I'll click next. And I'm given two options to, to install MAMP Pro in addition to MAMP. But I don't want MAMP Pro because I want the free version of MAMP. So I'll, I'll deselect it and I'll also deselect this one. Then I'll click next. The next thing they want me to accept or don't accept the agreement. So if you don't accept the agreement, of course you won't install MAMP. I'll accept the agreement and then I'll be asked in which directory or folder on my computer do I want to install MAMP? For now, I want it to install on local disk C at the folder called MAMP. Otherwise, I can click browse to change the folder, but that's not my interest now. I'll click next. Then they want me to choose which startup menu folder do I want to use. Because it's MAMP, I'll prefer to use MAMP startup folder. So I'll leave it set at the default and click next. Then I would prefer to have a desktop icon. That is the icon that will appear here on the desktop. I'll prefer to have it. So I'll click in next and then click install. The process is that straightforward. It's very fast and quick. It should not bother you. Congratulations. If you see this, MAMP has installed on your computer and indeed it has. So we click finish. And now we can see the MAMP icon here. If we click it, the MAMP control panel should open. Here you go. It has opened and the moment it opens on it, you see the MAMP logo. You see cloud at the bottom. You see open web start page and stop servers. You also see Apache server, MySQL server and cloud.
The Apache server is something we need at this stage because it's responsible for processing PHP. In other words, it turns our computer into a web server. The MySQL server is also important, but at this stage we don't need it. You also see this menu here at the top. If you click here, the web page will be opened and the web page that is opened is at localhost MAMP. So this means that MAMP is working properly and they are showing us the version we are using and they are saying that it's up to date. If we scroll down, we are recommended to buy MAMP Pro, but down here below that, we see some information about PHP. PHP is installed, you can click here to see the info about PHP. For example, if we click here, yes, this is the information about PHP. The version we've installed is 8.0.1 and it's installed on Windows and other things you know there are many things that are important to know but at this stage if you are a beginner in php you might not want to know so we can click start here to go back to the home page and php caches are here so none is is loaded and it's, not, it's none of our concern, but it's good that Apache is telling us about that. Then there's a good tool called phpMyAdmin, which is for configuring your MySQL database with the phpMyAdmin. So phpMyAdmin is a web-based application that gives you the graphical user interface for managing MySQL database instead of managing them in the command line. If we click it, it should load the PHP web page where we can see things like databases, SQL, user accounts, export, import, so on and so forth. We shall see that in the future. Here in this column, in the middle column, you can see things about MySQL and you are being recommended that MySQL can be administered with the PHP MyAdmin. To connect to MySQL server from your own scripts, use the following connection parameters. Yes, databases need you to specify, need your applications to specify the database host, the port number, the user, the password. They are giving you examples here. If you are using PHP version 5.6.x or more, this is the snippet you can refer to. But if you're using older PHPs which are not recommended, this is the snippet. If you have, if you are developing using Python, this is the option. And for those that are using PAL, this is how to do it. So how do we see our MAMP directory? How do we add websites to MAMP? So how we do that, we go to our local disk. Remember we installed MAMP on local disk C, if you remember, in a folder called MAMP. So I'll open the file explorer. I'll scroll down to this PC. I'll click local disk C and I'll click MAMP, which is here. Inside MAMP, this is an, there is an important directory, htdocs, this one here. We can click it and this is where the pro, our projects will be located. Okay. For example, I'll bring my old projects from the old installation of MAMP, these two these two here i'll just cut it and take it to mamp ht docs and if i do this it's i can the way i can access it is that i'll just go to localhost what's its name let me try to yeah its name is php mentorship so i'll go to localhost in the browser php mentorship and all the subdirectories I'll have will be listed. So if I click the Saturday to this subdir the contents in that project will appear here. And that's how we access MAMP projects in the browser. The other thing to note is that if you have the servers stopped, like if you click stop servers, these web pages will stop working. They will stop working. See, hmm, can't reach this web page because the servers have stopped. 
but if we start the servers, then the pages will work. So, so now let's look at how what we can do with our map in terms of settings. We can go to this menu, click map, and then preferences. They will tell us the version of PHP we've selected. Then if we click OK, we see here are some options like when starting MAMP, start the servers. So this is something you can turn off. So if you want to always turn servers on by manually. So for me, I'll just say, you know what? I'll just say start servers. Then I also say open the web start page. And when quitting MAMP, stop the servers. Then here you can put your favorite link so that it can, can open. So for example, localhost and say OK. But this I'll leave it out. Then I'll say OK if I'm done. However, this is to do with the start, stock, stop servers. There's also ports. MAMP comes with a Apache coming at the default port number, which is 80 for web servers. Nginx at 8 and MySQL at 3306. If you want to change these ones to anything, you can do that. For example, if you have another application running on your computer, for example, if you have an application like local WP, I understand that it could also be running on port 80. So what you might want to do is change your port your mom port to 88 and if you do that you click OK and the web servers will be restarted. You see that they are being restarted automatically and once they get restarted the way we access that this is going to be different. The way we shall access MAMP now will be our projects on MAMP will be localhost put a colon and then put the server port, which is a quadro eight that I've set. And I'll show you that we now have MAMP. And if we want to go to our projects, we can just now do PHP mentorship. Can do this. And now this is how we, sh we shall be visiting our projects. Let's go back to the configurations. So we can go back to preferences, this time PHP, and you can see that the, the version that has been selected is 8.0.1, but we can change it to the latest version. And if we want, we can turn on the cache, and the cache, we can choose one of the two options, op APCU or OP cache. But I won't turn on that at the moment, but that's something you can do. Then we can go to the servers and the web servers. We can choose either Apache or Nginx. We shall leave it like this for now. The other thing that we can change is where our projects will be saved. We can change the document route from the ordinary one, which is which comes by default and it's called C MAMP HT Docs. We can choose to select a different one, but I don't recommend it at this stage. Then let's go to the cloud. You can see that if we turn on the cloud, we can choose which clouds we want to use to store our projects, either Dropbox or OneDrive. Mamp Cloud is not active. Would you like to start it? To start your trial period now if we want we can start but we are not interested in that so these many options that come with ma with MAMP are the reasons I recommend it here uh, on this menu the second item is servers which you can use to say start to start the servers or stop them you also have tools where you can check your, your MySQL databases repair MySQL databases or upgrade MySQL painlessly. Cloud, you can start, you can go for the cloud services from MAMP. And I believe this is a tool that is really, really worthy. Help, like I told you uh, in the other stages that MAMP has quite unhelpful documentation. So here you go, you can see 
add FAQ and read through it and understand things. And yeah, then we can also go back to help and here how to upgrade from MAMP to MAMP Pro if you want to learn that. That's it. So here on this documentation, there's a lot of information that you can learn like troubleshooting, servers, languages, first steps, settings, quite a lot of things I've gone through, how tos. So they have quite a lot of information that is helpful. Here, you, if you go back to help, you can find information about MAMP. So you see the version and which which binary uh, version was installed and architecture this one is x64 which which is for 64 bit and the company which builds map is that that's it for today thank you for watching see you in the next video